Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on OUGrizzlies.com. My name is Neil Rule. We're here at Travis Bader. And Travis, wanted to bring you in, catch up with you. Obviously, summer workouts going full board, but you had an opportunity, really a special opportunity. You were at the Nike Kevin Durant Skills Academy in Washington, D.C. Talk about what an honor that was, first off, to just to be selected to work with Kevin Durant and the people at Nike. Yeah, you know, it was definitely an honor. Um, you know, it just shows, you know, a lot of hard work and, and dedication and the time I put in. Uh, to this game and you know got recognized a little bit by being invited to the Kevin Durant uh, Skills Academy and you know it was really just a great experience just to you know be named uh, one of the top wings in the country and get to go train and compete against uh, guys of that caliber. And you talk about how they took the top 20 wings in the country. Talk about some of the names that were there because this is the elite of the elite in all of college basketball. You got an opportunity Put your skills man on man against them. Yeah, definitely. You know, Gary Harris was there from Michigan State. Uh, Marshall Henderson was there. Jabari Parker, uh, Jordan McRae, um, Alex Poitras from Kentucky, um, Clay Anthony Early. Um, you know, so uh, a lot of you know just great talent. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, it was nice to kind of build a friendship with those guys uh, along the way um, during the camp and. So not only compete against them and kind of learn from them on the court, but just, you know, get to talk to them and maybe, you know, share stories and our experiences through college. And you got an opportunity to compete against somebody like you said, a Jabari Parker, somebody who was a, a much heralded high school basketball recruit. But those aren't the only guys that you got a chance to compete against as well. The, the namesake of the camp, uh, Kevin Durant as well. You were in the mix and you said Kevin Durant. We were talking a little bit earlier. You said Kevin Durant. He doesn't take it easy. He's a competitor. Yeah, um, you know, that was from, from day one, you know, he stepped on the court and uh, he was a competitor here. He went against us and, you know, he brought us all against us. And, you know, sometimes you might think, uh, you know, a guy holding the camp and might just walk around and talk to, talk to us and kind of, you know, help us grow and, and become better basketball players. But, you know, he, he laced them up and he went after us and, you know, he was talking on the court and he was getting mad at his teammates. and. Just, you know, he really brought it and just showed us how competitive he really is. Does that let you in a little bit on exactly what it takes to be at that level, the, the level of a Kevin Durant? I mean, widely renowned as, as one of the world's best basketball players. Is that kind of a glimpse for you personally to see this is what it takes? You have to be, as the kids say today, turned on at all times. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, definitely, you know, it just shows that. You know, when people say no days off, you know, Kevin Durant really means, you know, no days off. He could have easily went to that camp and just, you know, sat there and watched the town and watched, you know, people go through drills and, and different stuff like that. But, you know, he really pushed himself and he was doing drills with us and he was pushing himself. He was pushing guys on the court and, and being a vocal leader. And, you know, it just really shows what it takes to, to be at that next level. Now, one of the interesting stories that came out of your experience there, and this was something that Coach Campy talked about, through his Twitter account, you had some success uh, against Kevin Durant. <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell the fans a little bit about that story. <laughs> yeah, um, I actually went against him uh, in the post a little bit, which, you know, I talked to you about uh, being in the post is not my forte. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I uh, went against him in the post, but then, you know, we started going up and down a little bit and uh, made, made a little move on him, made a little step back three on him. So, that, that you know, that's pretty cool to, you know, a guy with a, a seven, 7'3 wingspan and playing in the NBA, NBA superstar, and to, you know, hit a shot on him was, was pretty cool. In wrapping up your time there at the Kevin Durant Nike Skills Academy, when you walk away from it, what exactly was the biggest thing that you took away from all this? We, we talked about having opportunity to see the competitiveness of mm -hmm. Kevin Durant, even in a camp situation. We talked about the opportunity to play against Jabari, the Jabari Parkers of the world and, and kids of that nature. What's the one thing, the biggest thing that you took away from all this? Um, you know, I think I just, the whole experience, kind of honestly pinpoint one thing. Um, you know, just being on the court with those caliber of players and, and learning from them and, uh, you know, picking up stuff that they do um, and just, you know, sharing experiences with them off the court and making friendships. You know, uh, a lot of people think it's all basketball, but, you know, it's great just to be there and just to, um, you know, develop these friendships with these guys who are going through the same stuff that you're going through on a yearly basis. Um, so that's great. And also just working with the coaches. Um, you know, there was a great uh, staff there that really just provided their uh, their support and their, their guidance and um, knowledge to us. So 
you know, I had a good time just reaching out to them and, and really looking to learn, um, you know, every single day. Absolutely. So tremendous experience provided by the people at Nike and by Kevin Durant. So we appreciate the time as we always do, Travis. And it's right around the corner. Are you ready to go? Oh, I'm definitely ready. You know, it should be should be a great year. Uh, we have a great team coming up. Uh, three really good freshmen. So, uh, you know, I'm excited for it. All right. We appreciate the time. We'll catch back up with you as the season gets closer. All right. Thank you.